So I'm on YouTube as normal and then I come across, you know, I'm looking at some videos to watch on YouTube and things like that. And then I see the word drop servicing and I'm just like, what the hell is drop servicing? So in this video, I'm going to break down what drop servicing is to you, the truth about it, how I feel about it and whether you should uh, drop service or not. Um, for those of you that don't know me and new to this channel, my name is Jordan Lee. Welcome to my channel where I pass back my knowledge, mistakes, experience. This is basically my journey on how I've been able to build my six-figure agency. I'm passing all that back to you guys so that way you can learn and grow your own uh, marketing agency. So let's, without further ado, I'm here on YouTube right now and I see the word right here First thing I say, and I've never seen this term before, and this is six months ago. Um, this video was posted six months ago, and this is my first time. I don't know why it's being recommended to me right now. Uh, maybe because I've been, I don't know, watching some, I don't know. But it's been recommending this video, and I see here, earn $5,000 per month drop ship, drop servicing on Fiverr, new 2020 strategy. And this was six months ago. It's February, so this was posted in 2019. Um, another one right here the fastest way to drop service for free beginners three weeks ago 685 views twenty thousand views so i'm like i'm that got my attention you know like what is this drop servicing stuff because i've done drop shipping and i know what that business model is like i know i've done it i've tried it uh it wasn't for me um i didn't i didn't think it was a great long-term strategy business th type of thing um so Drop servicing, I guess it was kind of like the same business model. So I kind of dig in and I dug in and I, uh, you know, tried to learn more about it. So drop servicing. I did a little drawing here. And this is what I've learned from the videos that I've watched. Um, this is a video that I, not a video, a little whiteboard that I took some time to actually draw. Uh, most of you guys know that I don't draw in like most of my videos. And this is the reason why I don't draw. I like to just get straight to the point and start explaining things. But Hopefully this makes it simple for you guys. All right. So what is drop servicing? The truth. <clears throat> so let's say this is you right here. Okay. And you go out and you know, you're, you're doing your cold emailing, your cold calling. I don't know what you're doing to prospect to get, uh, you know, new clients for your agency, your marketing agency or whatever, uh, whatever you plan on drop servicing. Um, but let's say, you know, you, you, you find this business, this, um, this business, he sells, you know, electronics or something like that. He, he's uh no, no, no. He, let's say he's, he's a real, he's, he's a real estate agent. Okay. Let's go with that one. He's a real estate agent. It doesn't matter. It's just any type of business, but let's say you find this business to pay you $2. Okay. He pays you $2 to run uh, marketing from whatever you offer. So lead generation, Facebook ads, Google ads, funnel building, um, I don't know what you offer, but let's say you tell him that you're going to be, you know, providing the service to this business. So he pays you $2. You take that $2 and you take $1 or, you know, how much ever you plan you want to outsource it to. And basically you just outsource it to um, a white label company or some type of freelancer. And that is basically what drops drop servicing is. Now, Drop servicing, I've never heard of that term. I, I, to me, it's a new term for me. I mean, I know the in the marketing world, we call it white labeling. And what white labeling is, is basically, let's say, you know, my company, okay? My company is Jordan Lee Marketing, right? So that would be my white label company. And, I'm t I, and I tell you, hey, if you get a client, I can, I can, I, you know, I can manage that. I can do all the, I can fulfill the service. So you would basically pay me one dollar. I'm the white label company, and I will pretty much work under your name. So even though you know I'm my own company, you're hiring my services to deliver the service on on behalf of your company. So that makes sense, right? So that's that's what white labeling is. There's no brand to it. It's kind of like drop shipping, right? You um, you find someone that purchases a product, right? You're the middleman. Um, you go on AliExpress, Alibaba, and then you you know, you, 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 you get the item that this person has purchased and you send it to them and you tell Alibaba or AliExpress, hey, this is a drop shipping item. Please don't add your um, company name, right? So that's pretty much white labeling is, is basically erasing the company's name so it looks like it came from you, that you're delivering the service or product, right? So that's basically what white labeling company, white labeling is. Um, how you can find these white label companies? Um, well, before I even go into 
telling you more about white labeling companies. I want to say that I have mixed emotions about drop servicing. Now, mind you, I think it is a great idea. I think it's a very smart business model because there's a lot of you know big name companies out there that do the same thing, such as Uber, right? Uber finds the, the rider and they have zero cars and they just find people who are willing to drive. So they're not really fulfilling the service. They're not like a taxi company where they're providing the taxi cars, right? They are pretty much a drop servicing business model. Uber driver, rider, put those two together, you keep the profit, right? Same with um, Expedia, right? They find people who like to travel and then they link those travelers to these traveling websites and things like that, right? And then they keep the money in the middle, right? They, they're, they're pretty much the middleman, and that's what you are acting as. You are acting as a middleman. Um, less work for you. You just got to go out and find business or find customers and clients, and then you don't really have to um, fulfill those services because you have white labeling companies that are willing to do that for you. Now, in the... Now that's that's the good side of it. The bad side of it is that, in my experience, opinion is that most white labeling companies, if you are, you know, it's it's a lazy way for these white labeling companies to get new clients, right? Because they can't get clients on their own or whatever reason they can't get clients, right? Um, the thing is, some of these white labeling companies they're not great at delivering results. And that's the issue with me is that I run my own agency. I deliver the service and I fulfill the service, the results to all of my clients. And that's how I'm able to have such a high retention rate. Every time we sign on a new client, they don't drop off right away. Most marketers, most digital marketers who owns the agency, you know, they'll, they'll get new business. They'll sign on a new client. But after 30 days, no results has been given and they, the, they lose a the client, right? And so these white labeling companies, you know, I'm not saying that all white labeling companies are bad, but I'm saying that you need to do your due diligence. And if you are just, you know, finding, oh, you know, I'm going to go with this white labeling company, um, you know, they say they're, they're good or whatever it is. And, you know, because every niche is different, you know, whether you're, you're bringing in a chiropractor, a realtor, a restaurant, these, you got to make sure that white labeling company specializes in that niche just because they are a marketing agency does not mean they're going to be able to market for all types of businesses like for myself i run a marketing agency but i don't go out and i work with a, a ton of different niches i stick with one specific niche that i know that i specialize in and i know that i could deliver results to because the main thing is keeping clients that's the most important part i know that getting clients is you know one of the main issues on starting your agency and things like that but you guys need to make sure you guys need to focus more on being able to deliver the service and making sure that they can get results because two things if you are confident that you can get them results you shouldn't have to do that much selling right because you're that confident it just comes off your body language off of your how you speak when you are you know in a, cl a potential client meeting um, they should believe you that you're able to deliver results and be able to make the money and if you can come across that they should have no problem signing on with you and paying you and then getting the results it's a win-win situation for everybody but um, you know if you're not confident in delivering the service but you're good at getting clients and you're not good at getting results you know yeah you're making money you're taking people's money but they're losing money cuz you know they're not making any money from you you're not able to deliver the results and that's why you know the marketing agency it's 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 a little i don't want to say saturated with competition it's more saturated with bad um, results because there's a ton of marketing companies that do not deliver results and that is why businesses it leaves them just a such a bad taste in their mouths when you re reach out to businesses and you know you're getting turned down and maybe you've heard the you know this I get 20 emails 20 calls from marketers that sound just like you every single day we work with p past marketing companies and we got zero return out of it and that this is the reason why um, you know with drop servicing with me, I decided to keep all the profits to myself and just learn a damn skill. It's not that hard to learn. Uh, all you have to do is find someone that knows what they're doing, um, already doing it, and they are where you want to be at and just learn from that person. Just take the same exact steps that that person went on that journey, and that's what this whole channel is about. Just follow the journey, follow the steps that I'm teaching you guys, and you'll be able to deliver results and grow your agency from a bedroom and get this cool 
new little poster that I, not poster, but little canvas that I got recently. Um, this is uh, my debut right here for that for that canvas with this uh, with my YouTube videos. Anyways, if you now my suggestions for finding white labeling companies because like I said, not all white labeling companies are bad. You just need to find one that specializes in the niche that your client is in. Okay, so. For example, these white labeling companies can be found in lots of places. You don't want to just go with any white labeling company. You need to do your due diligence. But um, there's companies and then there's like freelancers and these freelancers, they can be found on websites such as freelancer.com, upward.com. I believe there's one in like the Philippines and stuff like that. I don't know. Uh, what I normally use is Upwork. Now, I use that. I use Upwork to hire VAs, not to deliver the service because that's what I do. I do plan on outsourcing that later on when I teach someone to do, um, you know, how exactly how I want it to be done because I like to be in control of that stuff. And you know, it's very important to me that we deliver the results. See, a lot of people think about, all right, how can I get new clients without even figuring out how am I going to deliver the results, right? You bring on this client and they're spending money on ads and you know that that money is just being burned and then they get burned and then it just leaves a bad taste in the marketing agency world for all the other digital marketers um, and things like that. So it's so important that you just deliver results and just you know just just deliver the result and get good results. But if you are to look in to white labeling companies, like I said, you find freelancers, Upwork. Um, these are people who you know specialize in you know whatever service that you are offering. There's 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 a service for everything. You can you can find anybody on Upwork to help you out with something. Now again, if they're good or not, I don't know. That's why you do your interviews. But there is a ton of people on there who are good at what they do. You just gotta ask for their past you know experience, um, case studies, and things like that. And you can do it for very um, fairly cheap. Right, they're from overseas and things like that. So let's say you charge um, this business fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars, or fifteen hundred dollars a month um, to get get your service, whatever you're offering, and then you could probably find someone, you know, on these uh, white label uh, on freelancer Upwork. Um, you can probably pay them like maybe five hundred bucks a month. So that means you keep a thousand to yourself, right? Um, so business pays you fifteen hundred. You pay five hundred to outsource it. You keep a thousand dollars profit now other places you could find white labeling companies is let's see here and i i probably prefer this is face facebook groups i think facebook groups is great when it comes to um finding white labeling companies especially when you go in a very specific niche um, type of group. So for example, if you offer Facebook ads to businesses, then you want to join a Facebook ad group, right? Um, there's, I, I believe they're called media buyers or something like that. Just search it up. There's a ton of them. Just start joining. And then this is what you do. You go into, you make a post and you say, Hey, I have a, or I work with, I work with chiropractors. Um, we run Facebook ads and we're looking for someone who has been delivering great results. Keyword is you have been delivering great results to chiropractors, right? And you're going to get a ton of messages. You need to narrow it down to who you think is going to be the best um, at number one, delivering the result. And number two, at a reasonable price because everybody needs to win. You need to make your um, you know, your middleman money for bringing the client and then the white labeling company needs to uh, also make money because they're fulfilling that service for you. And then the business needs to be making money because they are paying you and, you know, hoping to get a return on their investment. But Facebook groups, um, you know, I've used Facebook groups to outsource some of my sales call. Um, I've actually built a sales team through Facebook groups. So that is awesome. Um, definitely utilize Facebook groups. All you got to go in there, like I said, just search out Facebook ads or Facebook media buyers. There's a lot of groups and just find people who um, specialize in that specific field, niche, client that you are working with. And that's pretty much what drop servicing is. You, They pay you a thousand bucks, you pay 500 bucks to outsource, you keep $500. Um, do I recommend drop servicing? Now, this is a business model, an opportunity for you guys to you know, if you don't know how to deliver the results, it's something you could try out um, and see if you could, you know, pull it off and things like that. 
um, like I said, it's just the downside of it is making sure you fulfill the results, right? Fulfill the service and making sure the business is getting a return on their investment. There's so many times these businesses don't get a return on their investment. That's the number one complaint objection. Every time my team hops on a sales call with a potential client is that they always say we've been burned in the past. Um, and you know, we, you know, this is a gamble to us. This is a huge gamble to us to work with you. Um, so, but you know, every time we sign a new client, we're very confident in our services because we are able to get them a return on their investment every single month, which is why, uh, our retention rates are so high within my business. I'm currently at, you know, six figure agency, 10 K plus a month Wait, Yeah. Past 10 K now. Um, but yeah, guys, hopefully this video is helpful to you. Let me know if you're going to be doing drop servicing or you would rather just learn the skill and keep the profits to yourself and be more in control. See, the thing about um, learning the skill yourself is, you know, you know the processes and things like that. And if any down the line, um, you are able to outsource your services. So you can teach that to someone or find someone that who knows who what they're talking about because you know what you're talking about. And when you find someone that's a good fit, you can outsource it that way. I like to keep the profits um, and it's not that hard to learn. So comment below if what you think about drop servicing. Subscribe to the channel if you want to follow the journey and learn more about the journey. I'm always giving out free tips, strategies to grow your agency. But until then, I'll see y'all next video. Peace.